Good morning. In addition to our mass intentions this day, let us also remember our first and frontline responders, our local faith communities, family, and friends. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, the Lord be with you. My sisters and brothers gathered this day to give thanks and praise to Almighty God. We once again open our minds and hearts to his ongoing call to mercy, healing, and compassion. Lord, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Let us pray. Lord, during this Lenten season, Nourish us with your word of life, and make us one in love and prayer. Through Christ our Lord. A reading from the book of Esther. Queen Esther, seized with mortal anguish, had recourse to the Lord. She lay prostrate upon the ground, together with her handmaids, from morning until evening, and said, God of Abraham, God of Isaac, and God of Jacob, blessed are you. Help me, who am alone and have no help but you, for I am taking my life in my hand. As a child, I used to hear from the books of my forefathers that you, O Lord, always free those who are pleasing to you. Now help me, who am alone and have no one but you, O Lord, my God. And now come to help me, an orphan. Put in my mouth persuasive words in the presence of the lion and turn his heart to hatred for our enemy so that he and those who are in league with him may perish. Save us from the hand of our enemies. Turn our mourning into gladness and our sorrows into wholeness. The word of the Lord. Lord, on the day I called for help, you answered me. Lord, on the day I called for help, you answered me. I will give thanks to you, O Lord, with all my heart, for you have heard the words of my mouth. In the presence of the angels, I will sing your praise. I will worship at your holy temple and give thanks to your name. Lord, on the day I called for help, you answered me. Because of your kindness and your truth, for you have made great above all things your name and your promise. When I called, you answered me. You built up strength within me. Lord, on the day I called for help, you answered me. Your right hand saves me. The Lord will complete what he has done for me. Your kindness, O Lord, endures forever. Forsake not the work of your hands. Lord, on the day I called for help, you answered me. The Lord be with you. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Matthew. Jesus said to his disciples, Ask, and it will be given to you. Seek, and you will find. Knock, and the door will be opened to you. For everyone who asks receives, and the one who seeks finds. And to the one who knocks, the door will be opened. Which one of you would hand his son a stone when he asked for a loaf of bread, or a snake when he asked for a fish? If you then, who are wicked, know how to give good gifts to your children, how much more will your heavenly Father give good things to those who ask him? Do to others whatever you would have them do to you. This is the law and the prophets. The Gospel of the Lord. Ask.
Ask, and it will be given to you. Seek, and you will find. Knock, and the door will be opened to you. And our response is, okay, when? Because that's how we are as human beings. We want it right now. We don't like waiting. The drive through is our enemy. I've got to wait 35 seconds? Oh my gosh, life is over. All too often, we tend to superimpose our instant society upon the will and governance of God. We infuse our prayers with an urgency that comes solely from our wants and desires. In our prayer life, in those times when we set aside significant time to be with the Lord in prayer, we must bring with us considerable amounts of patience and perseverance. From our life experience, we don't always find what we seek for on the first try. Try finding your keys when you're running out the door late. And sometimes things don't open easily for us on the first attempt. Think of an old pickle jar. <clears throat> patience and perseverance. Give these virtues a genuine and continual place in your daily life of prayer and see what the Lord might accomplish in and through you. My sisters and brothers, inspired by the grace and guidance of the Holy Spirit, we offer our prayers and petitions to God this day. That the church, its leaders and people, will find new strength in daily prayer and through loving service to Christ and the world around us. We pray to the Lord. That those who are appointed as leaders of peoples and of nations may serve all entrusted to their care with true justice, mercy, and compassion, we pray to the Lord. That those who may be experiencing a crisis of faith may be blessed with inspiration from the Holy Spirit, overcoming all doubts or fears, we pray to the Lord. That those who have died may be forever blessed in the peace of God's kingdom, we pray to the Lord. And for those prayers, hopes, and petitions we hold this day in the silence of our hearts. God of mercy and compassion, inspire us to be faithful servants as we offer our prayers and petitions this day, offered in the name of your Son and servant, who is forever Christ our Lord.
pray, my sisters and brothers, that this, our sacrifice, and the sacrifices of our own lives, may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. Lord, by your grace, you enable us to come to these mysteries with renewed minds and hearts. May this Eucharist continue to change us, making us more like Christ, your Son. Through Christ our Lord. The Lord be with you. Lift up your hearts. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere, to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God. For you have given us, your children, this sacred time of year, for the renewing and purifying of our minds and hearts. By the power of your Spirit, we learn to control our desires, so that as we encounter the things of this passing world, we learn to value and hold on to those things that will last forever. And so with all the angels and saints, we praise you, as without end we acclaim. Holy, 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 Lord God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. Lord, you are indeed holy, and from the world's beginning are always at work, so that the human race may become holy, just as you are holy. Look upon our offering and pour out upon it the power of your Spirit, that it may become the body and blood of your Son, our Lord Jesus Christ, in whom we have become your sons and daughters. Though we once were lost and not able to approach you, you loved us with the greatest love, for your Son, who alone is just, handed himself over to death and was nailed to the wood of the cross for our salvation. But before his arms were outstretched between heaven and earth, which would become the everlasting sign of your covenant, he desired to celebrate the Passover with his disciples. As he ate with them, he took bread, and giving you thanks, he said the blessing, broke the bread, and gave it to them, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, knowing that he was about to reconcile all things in himself through his blood that would be shed upon the cross, he took the chalice, and once more giving you thanks, he said the blessing, and handed the chalice to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. We proclaim your death, O Lord, and profess your resurrection until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate 
the memorial of your Son, Jesus Christ, who is our Passover and lasting peace. We celebrate his death and resurrection from the dead. And looking forward to his return in glory, we offer you, our faithful and merciful God, this sacrificial victim who reconciles you and the human race. Compassionate Father, look kindly on those you unite to yourself by the sacrifice of your Son, and grant that by the power of the Holy Spirit, as we share in this one bread and one chalice, we may be gathered into the one body of Christ, who heals every division. Keep us always in communion of mind and heart, together with your servant, Pope Francis, Alberto, the bishop of this diocese. Help us to work together for the coming of your kingdom, until the hour when we stand before you, saints among the saints in the halls of heaven, with the blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with blessed Joseph, her spouse, the blessed apostles and all the saints, and with our deceased brothers and sisters, whom we humbly commend to your mercy. Then, freed at last from the wound of corruption, and made fully into a new creation, we shall sing to you with gladness the thanksgiving of Christ, who lives for all eternity. Through him, and with him, and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. United this day in voice and heart, and joining Christians throughout the world with faith, hope, and confidence, we once again echo the prayer of the Savior. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, I leave you peace, my peace I give you. Look not upon our sins, but upon the faith of your church gathered here this day, and grant us the peace and unity of your kingdom, where you live forever and ever. The peace of the Lord be with you always. My sisters and brothers, for our world this day, for those who are near and dear to us, we offer a sign of peace. Lamb of God, you take away the sin of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sin of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sin of the world. Grant us peace. Behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sin of the world. Blessed are we who are called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word, and my soul shall be healed. The Body of Christ My sisters and brothers, 
At this time, I invite you to pray the prayer for a spiritual communion. Let us pray. Lord, may our celebration of the Eucharist this day so change our minds and hearts that we may seek you more faithfully and one day be welcomed into the fullness of salvation. Through Christ our Lord. The Lord be with you. May the grace and blessing of Almighty God, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit descend upon you, remaining with you now and forever. Our celebration is ended. Let us go forth each day to love and serve the Lord. <laughs>